Guarding and preserving the religion is not only preserving the Quran. Whoever thinks so is mistaken or misguided. Whoever believes that Allah Azza wa Jal did not protect and preserve and guard the Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is either mistaken or misguided. Because there are people, there are deviant people who claim that the only thing we need is the Quran. We don't need the Sunnah. Why? Because Sunnah has some inauthentic narrations in it. Right? This is their argument. Allah Azza wa Jal, this is very important, so I have to yeah, and give it some time. Allah Azza wa Jal says, describing Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his speech, he said, وَمَا يَنْطِقُ عَنِ الْهَوَىٰ إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَىٰ He does not speak out of desire, it's none but revelations. So whatever Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says pertaining to the religion is revealed upon him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Quran, وَأَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ الذِّكْرَ لِتُبَيِّنَ لِلنَّاسِ مَا نُزِّلَ إِلَيْهِمْ We have revealed down the Quran upon you or for to you so that you clarify to people what was revealed upon them or to them rather. Right? So Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's mission was to convey and Clarify and explain. See, the Quran does not have all. See, we have two main sources of legislation. The first is the Quran, and the second is the Sunnah. Evidence for that? The Quran commands that we pray, gives no details of the prayer. Where is it found in the Quran that we pray five times? Two for Fajr, four for Dhuhr, four for Asr, three Maghrib, and four Isha? None. No verse says that. What verses explain what nullifies the salah? What nullifies your wudu? What are the pillars of the salah? What are the obligatory acts of salah? Nothing in the Quran. Likewise, zakah. The details of zakah are not mentioned in the Quran. Some are, right? Hajj. Siyam. Four. Four practical pillars of Islam are not detailed in the Quran. The only place you find the details for this is the Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So those who claim that we don't need the Sunnah, in essence are saying we don't need Islam.